So, today is Wednesday. Um, nothing much has really happened at the uh, start of the week here. We uh, we had a little bit of time off. Um, I had Monday off work, so we went and stayed at a hotel just because we felt like it. Um, I spent a bunch of the weekend messing around, um, working on my home media server. Um, so we have that guy, his camera down here. So that's the home media server. Um, I'll show you guys some of that set up in a little bit. Um, I've done a little bit of work on the Hevo, so um, I had a constant problem with, um, we have magnetic, I don't know, magnetic, um, optical um, end stops and all that, like this one here, if I can get that shot, there you go, that one there, um, when the little tab goes through it, triggers a, um, trigger, pretty much like a normal um, mechanical end stop, it just triggers, um, I kept on having a problem where the print head would only go halfway along the um, the x-axis before it would just sort of trigger and um, keep moving. Um, let's hold this a little bit better. Um, we had, I, I ended up finding out that there was a uh, there was a cable, that a wire that had, uh, had a solder joint break in the, um, in the bundle. Um, so I guess that's a lesson learned. Don't really try and put any solder joint wires in a, a moving bundle. Um, at some point in time, I will go through and redo all the wiring through this printer because, like, I mean, there's a lot of sketchy jumpers and bits and pieces because this printer was sort of Frankenstein together. Um, I have set up the uh, knockoff Titan extruder. Um, I know what that was. Um, I had to get some of the little metal inserts up here. Um, the ones I had with the knockoff ones just didn't fit properly, so I, uh, I ended up actually buying those directly from E3D. Um, nothing new on the Hypercube, still printing as good as normal. Um, there's a couple other little bits and pieces I want to do uh, during the, uh, sort of closer to the end of the week, um, and stuff like that. Got the little, the, uh, the little, what is this, the Tron CXY, Tron XY, X1 I think it is. I got that little guy out here. I might hook him up at some point. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be sort of like my little Wednesday update. Um, nothing much has really happened. Uh, there's probably gonna lot be a little bit more that happens uh, later in the week um, and on the weekend. I'm gonna try and start pushing these out on Sundays, so like late Sunday, um, Perth time. So I mean, I don't know what that works out to um, everywhere else. But yeah. The, the, Sunday, probably around 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to try and put them out, but I mean, I'm not making any promises. Um, but yeah, uh, this is my little Wednesday update. Um, you guys will get uh, probably a, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe a Sunday update, depending on what happens. If there's nothing overly eventful, um, probably won't bother. But uh, yeah, I will catch so it's still Wednesday, but I uh, thought you guys, I would show you guys this. So this is a remote desktop into that server. Um, so this is, this is, uh, this is just a copy of server 2016. Um, but what's interesting, not that one, this one, I got all these different virtual machines running. So my Plex media server, my couch potato server, my SAB server C files running, but it's not fully set up yet. Um, and I've also got my sick rage server. Um, and these are all Linux machines. Um, so I'm like, I mean, I can, uh, if I can do this with, uh, do this with one hand, I mean, you connect with, um, I don't know what uh, this machine is. I'm connecting to. I'm on the bottom screen. Um, I think. Ooh, uh, I think this is. The, all these machines have. Um, they all have different like IP addresses. So, what I mean, I can connect to the each server individually through putty and configure them all and stuff like that which is quite good um, 
But yeah, like I thought I'd, I'd just show you guys this real quick. Um, I am actually a fully qualified network administrator and we do a lot of this stuff during my training and I always love messing around with stuff like this. So, I mean, I, I didn't have to set it up like this. I could have just installed Windows 10 on a machine and then run all these services as a separate thing, which is what I did. But then I thought, hey, why not Let's set it up? So they're all individual. They're all isolated from each other. The only, uh, the only thing that they have in common um, is this Windows uh, Windows 2016 is running um, drive pool? So I got all these different hard drives in here, um, and we have this big like this library of all my shows and stuff. Um, and that is it's an 11 terabyte drive because it pulls all the different hard drives together into one one drive. So I mean that's the only thing these these machines have in common is they just all share um, a share between that and then they all connect and can feed off the different files and stuff like that uh, but yeah I thought I'd just quickly show you guys that because um, why not thought thought it might interest someone all right guys so it is uh, it's, uh, Sunday evening um, I am gonna quickly do a little couple of bits and pieces um, so I mean uh, I'm going to fire up Fusion and do some work to the old Bluetooth speaker here. So um, I'm going to replace that control board with a new one. Um, I'm going to uh, put some new tack switches in, a couple of new tack switches. Um, so that way, because like this one's broken, this one's been replaced. And then these three are all, they're way too long, which is why that one broke. Uh, so I'm going to replace those. Um, I'm going to do a quick little time lapse. Um, of me designing something to sort of house and go around the top of this. Um, maybe even add some uh, small little little things to go on top of the tack switches or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to quickly do that. And I will also show you guys that uh, once it's been printed out and stuff like that. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know though. Um, I said earlier in... Uh, earlier in the video that I'll probably release videos Sundays. I'll probably push that back to Monday so I can uh, edit everything Sunday night and make sure everything's good before I push out the video Monday morning. Uh, but yeah, let's jump straight into this time lapse. side piece for this. That will go to comparison. It looks pretty close. So, I mean, I think I got my measurements fairly close. Uh, you guys would have just seen the time lapse. Um, I'm just going to print these parts out now um, and finish editing this video for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, with the, the new different type of video layer. I will catch you guys next week. <laughs> 